Good morning on Sunday. Um, I'm going to discuss a little bit, if you're bored today, there's going to be a lot of information that, uh, that I release about SVT Innovation, specifically as it relates to we are launching um, the company as an LLC. Uh, some things are going to change. I'll explain how information is disseminated between the website, the Facebook page, as well as the YouTube channel and how those platforms um, deliver cross content, um, both informational, sales related, and um, some general um, education stuff on the vintage side of things. But right now I wanna discuss a horn that I put up for sale last night uh, and kind of what happened with this thing because I've done one of these before I sold one last month. So I'm familiar with the build. I'm actually familiar with the SVT2 Busher aristocrat build because I've done it with brass bells, but last month I did one with copper and here's a copper one as well um, this month. And this bell was not going to go on this block, however, but I'll explain that in a minute. But right now this busher is just aristocrat is just in incredible condition. Um, you can see that really cool block. If you don't know, the top and bottom caps are actually males and they thread and screw into the valve casing which makes for a very efficient block. Um, I reversed the lead pipe and did some things with an internal step. Um, and you can see there that it goes into the block. It's a large bore at a 0.462. Uh, I changed the bracing as I do. Um, you've got a cross brace up top and, and um, you've got uh, you know the diagonal on the bottom covering uh, the internal lead pipe as it goes through the mouthpiece receiver. Um, it's got those Selmer type valves. You can see they're very fast and smooth. Compression on this horn is just great. There's three, here comes one. Very good, two, very good. So I know what I'm getting with this horn. And the reason I wanna talk about it is the copper bell was actually slated. Uh, Charmaine actually helped me from the obsolete hi uh, the hybrid uh, page on finding a Selmer signet because I've heard some really good things about this signet as it related to certain years. And I got a Selmer signet in from the 50s that had the S here um, and they're large bores and I was told they're only 468s. They only come in a 468, but every place with my digitals that I've measured the bore, this horn is a 473. Um, and it's a really cool horn. The, everything's just tacked on as I call it now. Nothing's really locked down or braced correctly. I've just got the touch points of where I would want it so I can check some things out. But um, that's actually the brace that the Signet used, this U brace. I just have a different brace down low. Uh, and then the reason I didn't use the copper bell was I got two bells in yesterday from Canstall they say Zygmunt Canstall on them right down here. And they were prototype bells, from what I understand, from Marvin Stam. Now, one of them, they're both four and seven eighths bells, so they're big bells, but one of them was a trip, and it's this one. Look at the throat and how this thing flares as it gets to the bell flare. I mean, it's huge. It, it, this ratio is not really showing it real well, but anyway. Um, and then all of a sudden I started thinking 473 bore with this giant flared bell. And Sean McKenzie from the Brass Cellar, a friend of mine actually had done a video on the Martin Handcraft extra large bore Imperial that he had. And when he showed the bell, um, it reminded me exactly, this bell reminded me of how that bell's built. So the light bulb went off. Let's put that on this 473 horn. So here's what, I'm going to play a little bit, and here's what you get. And I'm pretty excited when I actually do dial this in and lock it down. Um, oh, yeah. Another thing is, it's got this, this um, auto tuner on it. It's, I think, the aristocrat, or the... Uh, Blessing Super Artist had these, but this is how you tune it. It'll bring the slide in and out. And the underslung three ring was there as part of the original build as well. So here it is with my Alcast 128. 
really open, it's very easy to play. It's obviously dark with a mouthpiece uh, that's small. what for not being braced and locked down for slotting the horn's producing very well but you can hear that now this horn's a little brighter and i already know that because i know the build but here's what it sounds like but this has got a very it's a bright warm timbre <laughs> this next part because this is just an excellent combination that's all there is to it um and if you want it let me know because last the last one sold in 24 hours i had eight people inquire last night it's going to go today now little deeper mouthpiece setup this is the selmer <laughs> beautiful sound it's big it's real dark here is the aristocrat <laughs> Again, both horns don't need the three slide for the D as I tweak every one of my horns down there. Um, but there's the comparison. And you can hear this thing is a very clean sounding, sizzling up top, easy to get there, but clean, warm down below. This one, when I get this one dialed in, I am psyched for today because I'll tell you what, this thing's going to be just a crazy jazz horn. Um, it's going to be dark, it's going to be big, and um, I may even do something with this nickel silver lead pipe and change it out into a different taper because the timbre of this is starting to sound very Martin-esque, and there's something I can do with the, the lead pipe that I have some here that actually might get me really close. So. Um, stay tuned. There's also going to be quite a bit of information, like I said earlier, coming out about the company, about the direction we're going, some things about the marketplace and uh, kind of how we fit in. Um, I'm going to define SVT for everybody because it's kind of been really uh, not, a, not on purpose or a mystery, but um, there's information that was missing and there was a reason for that based on uh, kind of where we were and what direction we were going. So uh, I'll talk to everyone soon. And if you have an interest in this horn or the old LA Super or the King Silver Flare or the Martin Handcraft Imperial uh, or any of the other horns that are here, uh, just reach out. Have a good day.